All right, dudes, in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to create an optimal Sri Yantra. When I first wanted to learn how to draw the Sri Yantra years ago, I couldn't find a guide. So this is a method that I just figured out myself and I thought I'd share it with you. Hope you find it useful. All you're gonna need is a compass, a pencil, a pen, and a ruler. This is a long one, so you might wanna put the kettle on. Draw a line down the center of your page. Set your compass to draw a circle of any size. Remember to leave plenty of space around the circle to draw the gates later on. My circle here is about 17 centimeters and I'm drawing on A3 paper. Without adjusting your compass, draw a circle using the top intersection as your center point. And do the same with the bottom intersection. Now use these new intersections to create a perpendicular line by drawing two arcs that meet either side of your structure. and connect the points where the arcs meet. Now draw a circle either side of your center circle. Remember these circles are still the same size as all the other circles. Your compass hasn't been adjusted at all. Using these two intersections at the top, you're gonna to draw two arcs that cut through the center circle. And now we're gonna start connecting intersections with straight lines. Watch carefully. If you get one wrong at the start, you won't notice it's wrong until the end, as they're all interconnected to create a hole. And make sure all of these lines cut through the entire center circle. It's completely mirrored left to right, so also make sure you repeat the same motions either side. Set your compass to this size, the distance between these two points. Then use your compass to draw two circles either side.
follow this line up until you meet the arc that you drew at the start and the one that cuts through the circle and join it with its opposite. And that's the structure for the triangles in the centre completed. The rings of petals around the outside have specific sizes. So set your compass from the top intersection to this intersection below it. If you count the horizontal lines from the top, it's the seventh line down. Then put your compass in the centre and draw a circle. Next, set your compass from the bottom intersection this time to this intersection above. If you count the horizontal lines from the top, it's the third line down. Put your compass in the center and draw a circle. Keep your compass set to this size. Now we're gonna circumscribe a square around the circle that we just marked. So with your compass at the top of the circle, draw two arcs at roughly 90 degrees either side and do the same with all four sides of the circle. I know a circle doesn't have four sides, but you know what I mean. Now join all these new intersections to create a square. Set your compass from the bottom intersection to this intersection above, the second horizontal line from the top, and draw a circle from the center. Again, don't adjust your compass. We're gonna repeat the same steps as we did previously to circumscribe another square around this circle.
by joining the intersections where the original outer circles meet the inner circle, we're going to mark some lines horizontally and vertically which will be used later for the gates. Now it's time to divide the circle into 32 sections. We can start with the 45 degree angle by joining the corners of the outer square to the centre point. Next, set your compass to slightly larger than the halfway point of this section we want to divide and draw an arc. Do it on both sides. And then move your compass to the other side of the section we're dividing and draw another arc that meets the first arc. By joining the intersection of these arcs with the centre point, we've divided that section of the circle in two. There's no need to draw a line all the way through the centre of the yantra because we only need it in the outer circles. It's going to be for the petals. And we just have to repeat that technique until we've divided the circle into 16 sections. Alright, so now that's divided into 16 sections, let's keep going until we have 32. Set your compass to anywhere slightly larger than the halfway point of the section that we want to divide, and draw an arc. And again, on the other side of the section, repeat on all of the other sections that you want to divide. and connect all of the new intersections to the center point. 
Remember, you don't have to cut through the center of the yantra. Just put marks on the outer circles, the rings. Alright, now that's 32. This part is a bit fiddly, but we want to divide this first outer ring in two. To do that, we set the compass to the width of the ring, and using arcs we can find the centre. Draw two arcs with your compass point on one side of the ring and then two arcs with your compass point on the other side of the ring. And connect the two intersections we just made. Now we know where the centre of the ring is, and we can draw a circle from the centre point to divide the ring in two. And we need to do the same with the second ring. Just do exactly the same steps, draw arcs either side. Connect the new intersections. And draw a circle. And now we're going to draw the petals. It's possible and quite easy to freehand the petals, but I'll show you the exact precise method to draw them anyway. Set your compass from the edge of the first outer ring to the halfway point of the ring. And instead of putting the point in the middle intersection, you have to put the pencil lead on the intersection and the point should find itself further down the outer circle, if that makes sense. And then draw an arc that creates the shape of the petal and repeat this all the way around until you have eight petals in the first ring. And the second ring has 16 petals, so repeat the same steps until you have 16. Now connect this intersection with this intersection. And repeat all the way around your square. And that's the skeleton of the Yantra finished. If you made it this far, thanks for sticking with me. I hope you're doing good. I know that's taking a lot of concentration, but that's the hard part over now. Now it's time to add ink and watch the Yantra come to life. I'll be quiet for this part, just watch carefully.
and that's the tree entry complete. I hope you found this useful. If you want to watch this in real time, I've added a link in the description. It's over on my Patreon page along with scans of the sketch and all my other real time videos. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more stuff like this. Namaste.